such a time when 82% of the Hindus have become Buddhist. Buddhism also broken down. Hinduism almost gone away. It's all only the ritual, ritual, ritual only. It is at that time. An eight-year-old Brahmin boy from Kerala makes his pilgrimage towards the north. He meets his master. He is a unique and uh, yes, unusual person. Then by the even though he is eight years old, he reaches the master and left his home. And in those days there is no question of flight. There is no question of train. No ticket. Uh, I mean, travel without ticket, it is not possible. There is no buses, there are no roads, mind you. But the eight-year-old boy came, and then the Narmada banged, he met his teacher, Govinda Chari. When the Govinda Padai came, met him, the very first sight of the old man felt a great attraction to the boy. And therefore, when he prostrated and said, Sir, I have come all the way from Kerala and I want sannyas, in that old man, in his weakness, what happened, we don't know, he gave him sannyas. You can understand, in those days, when orthodoxy was so high, all the other pundits and mahatmas must have laughed at the old man. What Kaliuga has come? He is an eight-year-old boy who gave him sannyas. What has he renounced? What does he know of life to renounce? What an abominable mischief that you have done. Everybody was cursing. The old man said, I don't know. When I saw him, I felt that he is fit for it. I gave full stop. On the fifth day, the poor boy comes to the Ganges, Anantam Narmada, bang, prostrates to the Guru and says, Sir, give me the permission to write commentaries upon the Upanishad. Govinda Acharya gave him the permission and uh, Shankara Acharya wrote the commentaries of the Upanishad to call back the people their attention back to the Upanishad, the source of all inspiration for our culture. And he established the Advaita philosophy that the one life that expresses in every one of us, minus which we are all bundles of manure, all your glory that you are seeing all around, the intelligent and the emotionally great or the physically powerful, all these are the play of that one infinite consciousness through various individuals. When they understood the beauty of the Upanishad, all the 82% came back in. He reconverted them all. He took them all back again. And by his lifetime, which was only 32 years, and India was purified. In 24 years he did ever. He has made the Hindus indebted to him so much that I am not because I am Shankara man that I am talking about it. Ramanuja and at least had some example to see and follow. Shankara had no precedent, but he felt the need and did it. He said the majority are bhaktas and therefore bhakti chances and words as he flowed out of him. He wrote the manuals, reader one, reader two, reader three, for the children to study in steps. The Vedantic thought, Tattva Bodha, Atma Bodha, Viveka Chudamani, the textbooks were there, temples were there. Acharyas were placed in the various parts of India that from there more and more people will be studied and the universities, let us say, academies, from where the student will graduate and go out into the world and preach. 
all one man's original thought and planning and execute. If the culture is a healthy culture, at such times when the culture is almost losing its hold upon the society, which is called the decay, the culture itself throws up a master who has not only the vision of the great scriptures, but also their feet are with the people in the world. They know both the marketplace demands and the high truths above the clouds.